Today, I want to talk about how I got into shooting action sports. But before we get into anything, as always, definitely subscribe below. You can always unsubscribe if you want to. Um, but if you want to stick around and watch the videos, I really, really appreciate it. So thank you so much. My story starts when I was 13 years old in 2007. Uh, I got my first BMX and I immediately fell in love with it. It's kind of a funny story because my brother Zach, he started riding probably a couple years before me and I was basically like the girlfriend or boyfriend getting annoyed with him talking about bikes all the time. Then he kind of converted me, let's say, and I started riding with him a lot. Uh, I don't want to get into it too much, but we didn't have the greatest childhood, but we also didn't have the worst. Like, we were just kind of the average family, you know, divorced parents, and uh, they definitely did as much as they could for us. My mom actually ended up buying me my first uh, specialized P3, it was a 2007. Uh, pretty close to after I had that BMX because I destroyed that thing so quickly. Uh, but it really stemmed from my brother and I spending a lot of time together riding uh, in our small town that we had. There was a little home hardware uh, like transport ditch uh, that we would just kind of sit there for hours and just talk about stuff and kind of talk about any problems we're having or any issues that have been going on in our lives. Uh, and it, I, I just started watching like neural disorder movies and all of these videos and I just talked to my brother all the time about doing our own videos and as any as any rider growing up you want to be the next professional rider and go to crankworks and all this type of stuff and we had all of these dreams obviously but uh, I got really stuck and connected to the camera. I, I remember my mom got me my first Sony Handycam camera uh, and it was like the happiest day of my life because it said HD on it and it was just the coolest thing ever and uh, I actually have a tattoo here. It's of a film camera but instead of Instead of uh, the camera name, I actually had my mom's name put onto the camera to kind of kind of remember that she got me my first camera and really if it wasn't for her I probably wouldn't be even shooting this today for all we know. So uh, hats off to her, she's incredible. My brother and I really just started shooting videos every day. I, I don't think I ever put the camera down everywhere I went. I just throw it in my backpack. Uh, I didn't didn't really take care of it too well, but I think it served its purpose. Uh, my videos were absolute garbage when I started off. You know, they got better and better, and we. I, I honestly think that I've, I shot over 200 actual bike videos before like 2011, <laughs> like insane amount of videos, like I just would not stop. Uh, I certainly found my passion. Uh, it's very rare for a lot of people to find their passion that early on, so I'm, I'm more than grateful for being able to find that so early on. Uh, so it was just video after video. I actually kind of wanted to go to school for filmmaking. Uh, I got into shooting photos as well. Uh, I've really, really loved photography. Um, but video will always be my number one passion. Um, but instead of going to school for filmmaking, I actually went to school in Ottawa for advertising and marketing. Uh, because I was spending so much time behind the camera, I, it's not that I felt like I knew everything, but I just felt like I could do more with marketing and how to market myself and maybe make something out of that. And I wanted to understand how companies were using content and promoting it themselves as well. And I can honestly say to this date, that was the smartest decision I ever made just because it, it landed me my first full-time job. I worked for Fairmont Hotels, um, doing so much content for them and I've learned so much working there and working on a team and understanding how what I'm making is actually contributing to the marketing. Uh, so I've kind of just kept up with it and action sports will always be near and dear to my heart but obviously it's not the big money maker and for anyone that is getting into action sports filmmaking or photography I do want to say that it is important to learn other types of photography and filmmaking as well. Uh, just because it it's more so to make money so you're able to do action sports photography and video That's kind of how I'm looking at it now I just wanted to share a little small story about myself so that you kind of know me a little bit better uh, 
So yeah, if you want to keep supporting the channel, definitely subscribe, uh, like this video if you enjoyed it, and leave a comment below. I'd love to hear your guys' story on how you got into shooting, and uh, I'd love to share my passion with you as well. So yeah, I'll uh, talk to you guys in the next one.